This hearing of the Senate Judiciary Committee will come to order. I'd like to welcome everyone to today's hearing. It's the first committee hearing of the 118th Congress. Allow me uh, the opportunity to share some good news about the committee. Last Congress was productive. We reported nearly 40 bipartisan bills, including bills that were ultimately signed into law to protect survivors of sexual assault and harassment, protect the safety of federal judges and their families, invest and support law enforcement, and more. We restored the committee's oversight role over the Justice Department, Department of Homeland Security, and FBI, and held numerous bipartisan hearings on topics ranging from the fate of the Federal Bureau of Prisons to the FBI's mishandling of the Larry Nassar investigation to holding war criminals accountable in our country. We worked in a successful fashion to fill vacancies on the federal court the Justice Department, the Sentencing Commission, and more. We did all this despite the challenges of an evenly divided committee and Senate. Although he's not here at the moment, I want to thank Senator Chuck Grassley of Iowa for his service as ranking committee member in the last Congress. He was a real partner in ensuring the business of this committee was done. And I'd like to welcome the new ranking member, my friend, Senator Lindsey Graham. He and I have worked together on many issues over many years. And I look forward to working with him again and all the members of the committee during the next two years. I'd now like to turn to the subject of today's hearings, which focus on competition in the ticketing and live entertainment industry. Live event ticketing garnered a lot of attention toward the end of 2022, most notably in November when Ticketmaster Systems failed during the pre-sale for Taylor Swift's new tour leaving millions of fans stuck in virtual queues for hours waiting to buy tickets. While Ticketmaster and its parent company, Live Nation Entertainment, have offered explanations for these issues, these issues are symptomatic, I think, of a larger problem. The ticketing and live entertainment markets lack competition, and they are dominated by a single entity, Live Nation. Live Nation merged with Ticketmaster in 2010 in a deal that joined the country's largest ticketing company with its largest event promoter. The Justice Department and attorneys general from many states, including Illinois, sued to block the merger. The plaintiffs ultimately allowed the merger to go through, but put in place a consent decree with a set of conditions and divestitures designed to ensure competition in ticketing and live entertainment markets. Unfortunately, that consent decree does not appear to have been effective. In the decade plus since the merger, Live Nation has consolidated its dominant position in the ticketing and live entertainment markets, and the result is a competition-killing strategy that has left artists and fans paying the price. Before turning to Senator Graham, I'd like to thank Senator Klobuchar, who has brought competition policy to the forefront of our national conversation as chair of the Subcommittee on Competition, Policy, Antitrust, and Consumer Rights and also thank her ranking member, Senator Mike Lee of Utah. Senator Klobuchar and Senator Lee asked for this hearing and have led the effort in putting it together. They have assembled an expert panel of witnesses who will discuss how ticketing and live entertainment markets became so concentrated to the detriment of consumers, the impacts of that concentration, and the steps we need to take to bring competition back. I'm gonna to turn to Senator Graham for opening remarks then Senators Klobuchar and Lee will speak. Then I'll uh, welcome and swear in the six witnesses, and at that point, hand the gavel to Senator Klobuchar to continue. Senator Graham. 